Fate comes by hearing and hearing the word of God. You're listening to The Moment of Power with Azano Eddie Thompson. Daily audio devotions to energize your day presented by the Advent Hero Ministries. Our moment of power topic today is lessons from the Exodus part 18. Yeah, they turned back and tempted God and limited the Holy One of Israel. Psalm 78 verse 41. What are you doing in your life to limit God? This is a very strange text because God is the limitless one. He is infinite in wisdom, in knowledge, in power. God knows everything. He can do everything. But how is it that man can begin to limit the work of God in his life? When we don't demonstrate faith in God, we begin to limit him. And his power is not fully demonstrated in our lives. We really stand to lose a lot when we do that. When Jesus came as a preacher, a prophet, a healer, the people of his own home country did not believe in him, did not receive him. And this was what was the result. I read to you now from Matthew chapter 13, verse 58, quote, And he did not many mighty works there because of their unbelief, unquote. That text is saying that Jesus would have done great things for his own people, for his own home and his own house. But because they did not manifest faith in him, his work among them was limited. He did not many mighty works because of their unbelief. How are you limiting the work of God in your life today? The greatest thing that limits God's power, God's work in our lives, is seen. Isaiah chapter 59 verses 1 and 2, quote, Behold, the Lord's hand is not shortened that it cannot save neither his ear heavy that it cannot hear, but your iniquities have separated between you and your God, and your sins have hid his face from you that he will not hear. Unquote. Sin limits the power of God in your life. Something should not have died the way he died. That's not God's plan for him. That's not how God wanted him to die. If he had been close to God in obedience, in prayer, and depending on him all the way. Many of us are not living, are not fulfilling our lives. The power of God is not being demonstrated in our life as it should. It is limited because we are not fully believing in God. We are not fully walking with God. Of all the children of Israel that left Egypt and heading for Canaan, only two of them got to the promised land. And it was all because of unbelief. The bones of the rest were stewed in the wilderness. Yes, it was the generation that was given birth to in the wilderness with Joshua and Caleb that eventually entered the promised land. The rest who died in the wilderness, they limited God in their lives. They limited his power. They could not trust his word and walk with him. We need to pray today that we will not in any way, even now, begin to limit God in our lives. By unbelief, by sin, we pray that God will continue to be with us. Let us pray. Father God, this moment of power, we realize that you are the limitless God. You are the God that cannot be contained. Even the heaven of heavens cannot contain you. You cannot be limited by any circumstances. Enemies cannot stop you. Nothing can hold you from fulfilling your purpose in our lives except for we ourselves. Witches and wizards cannot stand in your way. Curses and spell cannot make your purpose not to be fulfilled in our lives. 
But we can limit you if we don't believe in your word and if we continue to live a life of sin. Your hand is not short that it could not say. The psalmist has told us today that the children of Israel in the wilderness, they turned back and tempted God and they limited the Holy One of Israel. Lord, every form of limitation that our unbelief is trying to bring into our life, limitation of your power and your grace, we pray that you turn it around today. We pray that you open our hearts and fill us with your righteousness. We pray that you will increase our faith and your name be glorified in our lives. Lord, thank you so much today for we pray in Jesus' name. Amen.